In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a cash account on Xero. So the first step is to log into your Xero account and then head to the dashboard. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a sample company instead of the demo company. Now, since this is only a sample company, this one has no contents in it, no bank accounts linked, no transactions, bills, or invoices. So it's just going to be a plain and bare uh, sample company. So this will work if you also have a new account and you're just starting on zero. Or it can also work if you already have an existing one. Now to create a cash account, what we're going to do is head to accounting over here. Give it a click and then select bank accounts. Now since we don't have any bank accounts linked. We're going to go ahead and add a new one over here. So just click on add bank account. And now instead of uh, linking or searching for a bank account in their filter, we're going to be using the add without bank feed feature. Now from here, we can see that Zero tells us that we can add an account without a bank feed. Now we can, or we usually do this if our bank doesn't currently provide a bank feed or if it doesn't provide a bank feed for the account type that we have or if we need a petty cash account or if our zero subscription doesn't include bank feeds. So these are the conditions where we usually need to add an account without a bank feed. Now, transactions downloaded from your bank can be manually imported into this account. So this is what we can do from our cash account. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And then we're just going to add the details of our cash account. Now for the name, maybe something like a cash account sample, since we're only using this as an example. And... We're going to put in cash account for the account name, the account type. You can either set it to credit card or other. Now, if we use credit card, we're going to be inputting the last four digits of whatever credit card we're going to link to this cash account. Or if we use the other type, we're going to be needing the account number of whatever account it is we're linking to our cash account so for this example we're going to go with maybe a credit card and i'm just going to put some random numbers for the last four digits and in here uh, we can set the currency depending on what we've set in our account or in our uh, company now if the company account we have has this currency automatically set then this is the only currency we'll see in our uh, list however usually for example if we're, we're using the demo company then by default it's going to be uh, indicated as us dollars so again this depends on what currency you've set in your account once we've entered the details accurately we can go ahead and click on add account and we should be able to see this on our list of bank accounts. Now, if we check, we can uh, tick the box over here to show the account on our dashboard. So whenever we have any activities or uh, a bunch of items we need to reconcile, those kinds of reports, we can automatically see them directly from our dashboard. Now we can also manage the account over here find any account transactions or bank statements uh, that are relevant to this account. We can also create new transactions, either spend money, receive money, or transfer money. And we can reconcile uh, anything that needs to be reconciled within the account. We can set bank rules. We can generate reconciliation reports. And we can also import a statement to this account. If you need to edit the details of this account, just look for this button right here, which says edit bank account details, and you can freely change whatever details you need to. 
now we'll just take a quick look at how it looks when, when whenever we check the transactions and as you can see since it's a new one there are no current account transactions so we can just create new ones or we can also import into our cash account and that's about it that's how you create a cash account on zero if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments below and i'll do my best to help you out